to get her Norco that's due at 240 or 4.45 ready. She's going to need it. She's going to want it. She's going to want it. Jacqueline, we'll get your Norco. She can give it to you a little early. Oh, I know. Okay. When you have the diabetic wounds, I don't do that anymore. I used to do all the wounds on diabetic patients. They were all a hot mess. They didn't feel. Mm -hmm. When they didn't feel, it was mm -hmm. much easier to deal with this stuff. You really get in there and mix it up. Yeah. You can't really mix it up with these folks very much. Mm -hmm. And it is, there's, God, I remember some folks that you could just, you'd have to give them state all or other drugs. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you What about those even. things that you that put I've over and it sucks state, the puss, puss out? The uh, wound time. back? Yeah. I don't do wound back. Because half those wound backs get blocked up and they don't work. And so that was my experience. I remember when they first reduced, when they first brought that out. A company out of Texas called KCI. Mm -hmm. What was great about it is, you know, we'll do that zero farm now. Is they would offer us to come down to Texas and give us a training seminar and then go play golf. <laughs> <laughs> so it Sounds that, typical. Yeah, it was, it was fun. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, I don't see reps anymore. I don't think I could ever see a rep anymore. Really? I'm just take the whole thing because it's going to be okay. um, tossed anyway. Okay, I'm done torching you today. Oh, thank you. Oh, do you have to make the compression bandage so tight? I'd like it to be can, snug, can but you, it doesn't have to be tight, tight. Can you loosen it up a little bit sure. more than it was? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I sure can. I sure can, dear. I just want to keep this one moist. I want my edges to stay fresh so we can close this primarily here in about a day or two, I'm hoping. How long have you been nursing? 30 years. And wound care, have you seen this before? This technique? Oh, I've seen lots of them. Um, You've seen the syringes like that? Mm, yeah, wounds? where they take off the, the, the yeah. need, take the needle out of the catheter of a needle and then just use that as yeah this was yeah a, so they can go angiotes. in i use this when we're in the or uh -huh. to flush their wounds over uh -huh. and above just the, the bulb syringe is great I, I can't tell you how many turkeys i've basted <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, get, you're gonna give me one of those to go home with so i can baste a turkey too yeah. right <laughs> i'll give you something let me peel this back because i'm going to open that okay. and put it on now right. and then we'll put the compression wrap on there that doesn't need to be sterile it makes it, it's easy. Uh, I take these with me, obviously, in my oh. I don't know if you guys have those. It's so crazy in surgery these days that everything's thrown oh, away. Oh, we have Kelly clamps and scissors. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, throw away he's on that ankle. Then, that ankle's yep. really sore oh, still, yeah. too. Or either they leave it in the room to Don't pull on that big getting... toe away from the little yeah. ones too much. How are we doing? Are we okay with what I'm doing right now? Yeah. Okay, when you put it between the toes on that big one, it really hurts. Okay, I'm done with that. Now I'm going to wrap this around your ankle. Yeah, my Here. ankle's really okay. sore. Why does my ankle hurt so bad? Probably because we're pushing the swelling somewhere. Oh. Feels like it's broken. You can I hang can this thing down, it. too. I don't know. Hang it down. See how you do with hanging it down. Yeah, I've been trying to do that. I've been, been trying to put it side, wiggle it side okay. to side. Lift, that up under, lift your leg up for just a second. She's going to pull out that okay. out from underneath you. I'm just going to put I this think on. the bottom of my heel is still kind of wet. Yeah, it can be. Okay. The wall, I got the other you side. Want of that more of this? Yeah, okay. All right. I got the wall and craftsman yeah. stuff. I'll take you to look at that, though. All right. Thank you, dear, for your help. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Now, the tricky part is going to be how do I put this into the chart, and when do we see a hospitalist? When does he make his rounds? Or does he? Uh, the hospitalist has rounded already. But, Dr. Um, Nichols? If you want to speak to, to, to the one that has her, I can get him here. 
Well, I just, at some point, he can reach out to me. I just let him know what's going on. I don't know how you retrieve it in the system. Yeah. I'm going to do some dictation, but I don't know how quickly that dictation yeah. comes across. And usually, you know, our wound care nurses chart under the wound. Oh, do they? Uh-huh. How does she chart this wound if she hasn't Let's seen see. it? Who is your uh, wound care nurse? I haven't met her. Today, it's Ashley. Is we Ashley here right now? Ones, but yeah. Do you want her to do, do you want them to do wound care? No, I do it. Okay. So at least have someone so everybody knows what I'm doing or what the game plan is. It may look like my foot, but it's his. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid. I wish it wasn't mine. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty... Guess we can hang on to. I guess I should have mentioned I'm pretty active. So it's always and... under incision wound group, and then we just go through it, okay. you know, and, and I mean, I can chart it for you. Can you chart it for me? I sure can. Okay, so... Inspect. So we packed it with iota form and... Iota form, we flushed it with approximately 60... No, probably... What's the center range? Not much. Yeah, okay. That's 60. So probably 120 cc's of okay. dilute Dakins mm -hmm. and saline flush. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, gauze packing was removed and replaced. This is uh, plain gauze packing mm -hmm. that we're using, which is fine because we got a little bit of iota form or a little bit of hypochloride in there. Yeah, and then uh, we have the, the wound, the, then we redressed aseptically. Yeah, with with um, with zirfoam mm -hmm. and then a, a curlex and then mm -hmm. the compression wrap and the coban. Okay, and that's <sighs> it. I'll be back again tomorrow to do the dressing change, probably a little earlier in the day. The mm -hmm. game plan is to make sure everything stays ace that the swelling comes down it's a little premature to close this i'm i don't know what the situation is here on saturday sunday mm -hmm. my gut feeling is it's either going to be saturday or sunday that we take her back down and do a delayed closure and wrap it up and be out of here oh okay that's the game plan yeah so okay. i don't know who the caseworker yeah. is they want to reach out to me caseworker and i'm going to try and put in the charting system my caseworker's name is all right I'm going to go ahead and chart this right now. Hold on.